Hey Rebel Rouser, I'm Alan Voivod, and this is Star Wars 7x7. We're at episode number 1587 right now, and we haven't talked about Star Wars Celebration for a while. Coming up, of course, in April of 2019 in Chicago, Illinois. And so I thought we might take a little bit of time to talk about what we know about Celebration and what we think we can safely assume about Celebration in particular what the main focal point is going to be for each of the days of Star Wars Celebration. Now, we have a five-day event, which is unusual, comparatively speaking, because the last Celebration events were either three days or four days. Orlando was four, and London was three, and Anaheim was four. I'll say, you know, the events under the Disney banner, if you will. But here we have a five-day event. And yet, and yet, we can rule out Thursday the 11th as one of the major days of programming because as the fine folks at Read Pop are saying, it's a day for people to get a jump on collectibles. It's a bounty hunter's preview, as they like to call it. And so there's not going to be any major programming happening on Thursday, April 11th. The primary programming situations are happening on the 12th through the 15th, or at least that's the way everything is set up. Interestingly enough, Friday and Saturday are sold out already at Star Wars Celebration Chicago, and so, you know, that's kind of par for the course anyway. Those two days tend to be the ones that sell out first, and I think it's a pretty safe bet that Friday is going to be our episode nine day. I mean, you know, it's pretty much in the way things go that we get trailers of some kind at a celebration event. I guess I should say we got it in Anaheim and we got it in Orlando, but we didn't get it in London. In fact, London, we were all kind of surprised that we did not get any detailed Rogue One trailer, but that didn't actually happen until August, so almost a month after we came home from London for Star Wars Celebration Europe there. But in April of 2015, we got a Force Awakens trailer at Celebration. In April of 2017, we got a Last Jedi trailer at Celebration. So yeah, every reason to believe that it's going to happen on the Friday. And in fact, actually, it happened on the Friday in Celebration Orlando as well, because the Thursday was the big 40th anniversary Star Wars Celebration. So Friday is probably our big day for Episode Nine. What will Saturday be then in that case? And Sunday and Monday for that matter? Well, I think the answers are pretty obvious in terms of like what are the biggest storytelling content situations in Star Wars, either ongoing or up and coming. And there really are three. There is, of course, Star Wars Resistance, and that's our ongoing TV series. And then we have the two series that are going to show up on the Disney streaming service when it releases in the fall of 2019. That would, of course, be the Mandalorian live-action TV series, and it will be Clone Wars Saved, the final seventh season of The Clone Wars. So if you're going to ask me where I would put my money, I'm going to put my money on Saturday being about The Mandalorian, that being the live-action TV show that's being held by Jon Favreau. That seems to me like the one where, you know, if they're going to have big news to announce, they're going to want to announce it on a Saturday, and they're going to want to have the biggest audience possible there. You know, it's just, in all honesty, the audiences for Star Wars stuff aren't as big for Clone Wars or Resistance for cartoon shows as they would be for live action stuff. And so I think we get The Mandalorian on Saturday as the marquee event at Celebration Chicago. So then what do we do for Sunday and Monday? I think it's kind of a toss up, quite honestly. I think Resistance could go on Sunday because, you know, it's got the whole, you know, first season under its belt and it's a major investment. And Clone Wars, you know, it's really awesome that it's coming back. But I think the big announcement has already been done with the announcement that it's coming back from, you know, uh, from San Diego Comic-Con. So I think that that is going to be our Monday event. And, you know, for that matter, it also then spreads out the two uh, streaming service things. So you've got one streaming service reference on Saturday and you get another one on Monday. So that way, you know, it gets it a little bit longer play in that regard. Now, there means that there's at least one thing that we are leaving out of the equation from a storytelling perspective. And, you know, it's kind of surprising, to be honest with you, that 
we are not getting more of this. In fact, actually, you know what? I can think of another one too, for that matter. So why don't we talk about it? First of all, uh, Jedi Fallen Order. And the reason why I say this is because we know that there is a story element to it, that it deals with a Padawan who is trying to survive after the Order 66 purge. And so there is going to be some sort of story element to it. And, you know, considering how big video games are and just how powerful an economic driver they are, you you would be surprised, you know, to find out that that's not going to have the same kind of, you know, weight in the presentation of things at Star Wars Celebration. But based on, you know, the way things have gone with Battlefront and Battlefront 2, there's no reason to think that it's suddenly going to get more of a marquee treatment when it comes to video games. And the other thing that possibly could deserve some sort of marquee treatment but probably will not get it is vader immortal which is of course the virtual reality or uh, augmented reality oh it's one of those two <laughs> the the you know, not in the real world series um that david s goyer is involved with that's supposed to build on secrets of the empire which is the uh, vr experience that's happening at downtown disney in anaheim and orlando so you know that is another area where I think Star Wars storytelling is really burgeoning and there's you know, great opportunity to highlight it at Celebration, but I don't think it's going to take you know, one of the marquee spots. And all right, you know what? Let's go with a, a third time's a charm. I'll come up with uh, one other bit of Star Wars storytelling that is not necessarily getting marquee treatment at Celebration Chicago. And that would be a future filmmakers panel, which they have done. They did it in Anaheim. They did it in London. They didn't do it in Orlando. But, you know, maybe we're just too far out from it. I mean, the Game of Thrones guys, you know, Game of Thrones final season will be, if not underway, then arriving shortly on screens. And as far as Ryan Johnson goes, well, you know, he's probably going to be very head down in the development of his trilogy. So there's not really going to be much for them to offer us in the way of information for a future filmmakers panel unless they decide to tell us, hey, surprise, we are going to start up standalone films again. But I don't know, the way things are set up right now doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. But anyway, I'd love to hear what you think about this. Let me know if you think I have our marquee events plotted out correctly for Celebration Chicago, or if you think they're going to do something else, then let me know that as well, wherever you happen to be catching this episode. And that is going to do it for this episode. So thank you so much for joining me for it, as always. Hope you'll subscribe to the show wherever you're getting it, if you're not doing that already. And I hope you think it's worth putting something in the tip jar at patreon.com slash sw. 7x7 to support this daily dose of Star Wars joy for you. And the last thing I have to say to you is, of course, may the Force be with you, wherever in the world you may be. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox, and is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other Star Wars related items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the Force be with them. All original content is copyright 2018, Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.